We're going to keep the same type of forecast that we've had this weekend, Todd, going one more day into the holiday tomorrow for you here. Live look outside this afternoon and this evening now across most of Iowa. Still a lot of dry skies out there. You might be able to make up yeah, just a, maybe a few high level clouds in some spots like Marshalltown, for example, not quite clear blue skies. A few kind of thin cirrus clouds up high in the sky over northeastern Iowa this evening. Off to the west, you head out into parts of South Dakota and Nebraska. There's a few raindrops out that direction, but those aren't really making it past the Missouri River. So most of the state still working with pretty pleasantly quiet conditions. That'll be the case again as we head into tonight here hour by hour. The map stays pretty blank unless you're out in far western Iowa. Maybe by tomorrow morning a little bit of that rainfall activity will try to sneak into the western half of Iowa here tomorrow. That is one change from the forecast. There's going to be the possibility of maybe a couple of spotty showers, even a rogue thunderstorm west of I-35 here as you head through the day tomorrow on Monday on Memorial Day itself. Don't think this is enough to really cause any major problems for all those you know, ceremonies, services and everything else that everybody's going to be going to. But just don't be shocked if you maybe get a brief little shower during the day tomorrow. Otherwise, it's going to be mostly dry, especially if you're in the eastern half of Iowa. Temperatures also going to go up at a couple notches again, more than we saw today. We had lower 80s outside this afternoon, middle 80s for you tomorrow as you head into the holiday. And then we're going to kind of wash, rinse and repeat this start a cycle here each and every day. As we go into Tuesday then, Again, a chance of a few pop up showers or thunderstorms, especially out in western Iowa as we head towards the afternoon hours. Otherwise, the day will be sunny. We'll just bubble up some of those clouds, maybe get a brief downpour or a shower or two during the afternoon and it'll be getting warmer yet again. We should be approaching near 90 degrees in a lot of spots as we head towards Tuesday afternoon and we'll continue that cycle here as we head through much of this week. Outside right now though, 82, very comfortable. That dew point's low, only at about 40 degrees. On our muggy meter scale, well, it doesn't really show up, right? You don't even feel really most of the moisture in the air until you get those dew points around that 60 degree mark. We will start to see readings around that, that range as we head towards the next couple of days and then through much of this week. So that would be one thing you do notice. It's not going to be quite as blissfully dry the air as we head forward here the next few days from now. So we get a little bit warmer. It's not humid. It's not muggy, but it won't be quite as comfortable. And each day you see that low end chance of rain, 20, 30 percent, couple of scattered showers, maybe a rogue thunderstorm through each afternoon all the way up until the weekend. We're really not going to break up this pattern here until we get probably into the first full week of June, which means next week since June starts on Thursday. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit summer like here next several days.